In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to grow your fan base for free. This is what we were talking about on the last Fan Base University call yesterday. It was awesome, and I want to share a few insights from it that I think will help you. Let's do this. I spent the last 14 years playing over a thousand shows, touring 22 different countries, and become a top 40 Billboard charting artist. I fired my record label to go out on my own as an independent artist to market and release my own music, selling thousands of albums and millions of streams. The question I always get is, how did I do it without a label and sell even more music? This podcast is here to show you the way. Join me and follow along as I learn, apply, and share marketing strategies to grow my music business in a loyal fan base. So hey, just going for a walk here It is officially getting cold It's like one degree or two before you're able to see your breath And so we're starting to get the layers on here That's my latest weather report here from uh, Toronto, Ontario But uh, seriously, I wanted to chat with you guys about growing your fan base And, you know, just getting yourself out there growing it getting awareness for your music without it costing you anything and that might sound crazy but i explained this to my fan base university members on how i do this and how you can actually do it even profitably if you do it right and there's a lot of strategies out there for giving away your music um in exchange for an email address okay or potentially getting them subscribed to your manny chat bot or your messenger subscriber or heck even collecting a cell phone number if you really want to depends on how you do it but the majority of what i do is normally email address give away your music for an email and if they like it you say hey do you want to come to my show do you want to buy my merch and it was interesting this one artist i was coaching and i was looking at their funnel and uh basically the way they were you know running facebook ads and giving away their music and they were trying to promote a show they had coming up and it was interesting right after the person like i put my name and email in and i to download their music and on the thank you page there was nothing there was no offer to buy anything else it just said thank you check your ch- check your inbox and that's really the spot where you want to be saying promoting your show like if they they're, they were specifically trying to promote a show in a certain territory and so i said look right on that page you need to put like you know uh we're playing in your area get tickets here and get a free cd if you buy tickets through this link you know so you get their email address you know in that specific city the next page tells them about the show so they're getting free music you tell them about the show and now you've got your their email to follow up with them and to let them know and connect with them and be really cool and and try and sell them more stuff now they had a funnel set up later on where they had some emails written where eventually they would sell them some shirts or hoodies or whatnot. They had a sequence of emails that would automatically go out and eventually sell merch. And I said, look, you've got that too far out in the funnel. You need to try and recoup that earlier. And that's why I love doing the the free plus shipping thing where, you know, you, you, you buy the CD or you pay for the shipping of the CD and then, you know, they're buying something right up at the front. Okay, and I've explained this, I don't know how many million times, um, but, you know, you you ask people to cover the shipping and handling, and then you send them a CD, and then you try and upsell them other stuff. And that's how you grow your fan base for free. Okay, like... If, if, if that person even giving away their, their music in exchange for an email address, okay, say it costs a dollar per email registrant, okay? So um, every, every person it costs you a dollar on Facebook ads, so $10 per 10 emails. And you have one of those 10 people buy a CD. What if you have um, one in 20 buy a $20 shirt? Okay, uh, you're, you're, you're basically making all your marketing costs for free. Okay, you're growing your fan base for free, um, even profitable if it was those numbers. But um, you see how quickly you can easily make your money back? And that's like at a dollar. And you should be able to get email registrants for 50 cents to a dollar. A dollar is a little high if, if you're at, it depends on what market it is and where you're marketing. And, you know, how good your ad is and your copy and everything like that. Everything I teach you in Fanbase University to get that dialed in. Um, and actually, the person that was I was helping with, I told them, look, if you use the template I'm using, I guarantee we'll, sh- we'll get your conversions way lower. Because their page was good, but it could definitely be optimized and they could be spending less money. And then they could spend more, or sorry, they could be spending less money per registrant. And then so they could spend more <laughs> uh, to get more registrants. 
But yeah, it's all about, you know, like if you're not making offers, if you're not trying to sell stuff, you're not going to make any money, guys. Like if you're not offering your fans anything to buy you or don't have anything to buy, you're not going to make any money. Like, do you think it's just going to fall from the sky? You're like, oh, I'm just marketing my music because I'm hoping people will go to iTunes and Spotify. No, you need to be putting offers in front of your fans, whether it's coming to your show, buying merch, buying CDs, buying digital downloads, exclusive stuff like you can't just assume people are just going to find you and all this stuff. You have to market and put it out there. But if you have a funnel where you can put in, you know, $10 to get 10 emails and then you can sell a $10 CD and then a $20 shirt or a $15 ticket, you can make your money back. So you put in a buck and you get maybe a buck 50 back. All right. So, or even if you get a buck back, who cares? Because then you get your marketing for free. You're getting your music out there for free. And then you just crank that up as much as you want. And what do you think happens? You start to get more awareness and more awareness and more awareness to that tipping point to the where you're starting to make money off your music passively because there's so many people streaming you. They know about you. But the reason you're not making any money from your music is because nobody knows about you. They're not going to go just look and find you. You need to go and put your music in front of them. What do you think radio is? It's all interrupt marketing. Same with Facebook ads. What do you think people are doing? They're listening to music on the radio, and then all of a sudden your song comes on or my song comes on. They're like, oh, who's this? What's this? That's like, sure, they're, they're listening to music, but they're driving. They find out about you. Same thing on Facebook or Instagram. They're scrolling, scrolling. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a cool music video. Oh, that's a cool band. Oh, they're giving away their music. Okay, I'll opt in for that. You know, it's all interrupt but like you think, oh, I'm just going to throw it up on Facebook and organically people are going to find me. No, that's like going to take you forever. And, you know, you, you need you need to be able to learn how to build this stuff and build a campaign, a funnel like I'm talking about so that you can outspend your competition and, and your fans. That's That's why I've been able to still not just even maintain, but I've been able to grow as an independent artist without the label because I'm not relying on them. Because I don't need their system We have our own systems And this is like the best day Time ever to be an artist If you're willing to learn this stuff But you don't have to learn it You can stay in the dark And you know just do it your own way And continue to fail Or you can decide to learn Because there's never been a better time Like the, the musician dream is alive Okay To be able to do music full time It is more alive than it has ever been But it's just learning a few savvy things Okay You got lots more brain capacity Than you realize my friend Alright we, we, we learned all this You know Some of us did At least I did A lot of garbage stuff In high school That I didn't need Okay All I need to do Is learn how to do music Do marketing And no money (laughs) That's that's, that's all I need All right And how to communicate of course But that's part That's part of marketing Communications All right So Think of all the, the stuff They tried to stuff your brain with Forget about that stuff Let's just learn how to Write great songs Market those great songs Invest the money that we make so we can continue to make great music and support what we're doing and live the dream. You know what I'm saying? So go to smartmusicbusiness.com. You, I think you can get um, you can get active campaign for email. Start building your email list. If you want my free funnel, I think it's smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash free funnel. Or just join Fanbase University and you'll get the freaking free template there and I'll help you build it and set it up, okay? So stop messing around and let's get this thing set up. Let's start marketing your music. Like, what are you putting it off for? Oh, I'm going to wait until my single comes out. No, I don't care if you're single... If this is your first song and it's coming out in the next month or two, I don't care if it's not out yet. You should be giving it away for free to people who don't know. you be like, yeah, but I haven't posted it yet. Nobody knows about you, dude. Nobody knows about you yet, girl. There's millions of people out there. Start building the email list. Building the email list. You'd be like, look, un- unreleased song, you know? Whatever whatever her name is, is giving away an unreleased song that's not even out yet. Get it, get it early or whatever. That's like another reason. Oh, it's not even out yet? Let me get this. You know, build that email list. But you're like, yeah, but what do I do when... What do I do when the song actually comes out? Oh, well, you create a shirt around that song. That's what you do. Okay, you create a shirt. You need all those people that downloaded the song. When the single comes out, you can say, hey, now it's on Spotify. It's on whatever. You can stream it now. Thanks so much for downloading. Hey, did you get the shirt? This is only free advice I'm taking, giving you, you know, 
<clears throat> and um, I hope you do something with it. But you probably might not do something with it. Why? Because it was free. And people that pay, pay attention. So go to Fanbase University invest the $40 I think it is a month to get coached by me to get your butt kicked and so that you take action or maybe you are a self-starter it's fine keep listening to this podcast grab the nuggets but just go apply it go do it you're not my competition I want you to win I want you to go kill it go crush it just let me know if this podcast is helping and do me a do me a favor and leave a review hey I know I sometimes come off harsh, but it's because, you know what? I like it when people are harsh with me and just tell me the truth and tell it like it is because I don't, I don't got time. I don't got time to say, oh, yeah, you don't. No, get off your butt and get to work. Get it done. A fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. So don't quit. Stay with it. All right. I love you. Peace. So if you're a struggling artist and you're just trying to figure out this music industry, you want to go full time with your music, you want to get noticed on social media or learn how to launch an album, an EP, or just get your music more marketed out there, I want to encourage you to check out my coaching program called Fanbase University. Every single month, I jump on the phone two times with my students and I coach them and I teach them how to market their music, how to get noticed, how to handle booking agents, record labels, and just get their music music out there. Also, you get access to exclusive training. You get in interviews with music industry professionals. If you want to find out more and not do this on your own, not struggle because I've wasted thousands of dollars on my career and I, now I want to coach other artists. Check out my program, fanbaseuniversity.com or click the link below to find out more info.